Hi, it's Mandy from Mindset for Success with today's Mindset Matters. Now, yesterday I was talking about the challenge that people have when they have poor habits and behaviours that they feel powerless to change. Too often people label themselves as hopeless or weak or powerless or I'm a bad person because I drink, etc. Now, all this does is diminish your self-worth your confidence, and it really keeps you locked into the poor habit. So yesterday I said um, you need to create some space so that you are not your behaviours. You are still a good person and you may have a poor behaviour. The last thing I said is that say to yourself, and I am willing to change the behaviour. So that was the first step. Now the second step is to have a plan may sound obvious, yet too few people do this. So in the morning, set yourself an intention as to how you would like to be and behave. So perhaps if you were drinking too much and you wanted an alcohol-free day, you might say, my intention today is to have an alcohol-free day. Then it's important to listen to those voices and those thoughts like the saboteurs that we know and write down three ways that you could sabotage this. For instance, you may know that you've got a big day at work and you're going to be tired when you get home and you know that when you're tired, that's when you like to sit down and have a glass of wine or two. Or you may know you're going out to a work function and you may start talking to people and be in the moment so much that you forget that you're only going to have one drink. So write these down. When you identify them and shine the light on them, they're not going to hold you prisoner so much. The second step is to write down two counter strategies. And that means you ask yourself, what will you do if you got home really tired and you know that you might go and pour yourself a glass of wine? So by identifying a solution, you're shining the light on the problem and you're doubling your chances of being successful. You're channeling the energy of your mind towards your outcome rather than letting yourself be totally run by your habits. The more awareness you have on your habits and behaviors, the more empowered and the easier it will be to change them and take control. So that is your second step. Identify in the morning where you may slip up and then come up with two, at least two counter strategies, things or behaviours that you will do, the plan you will have in case you think about sabotaging your success, getting home and having a drink. What can you do instead? So make sure that you start doing this habit so that you can take charge of your life and gain the results that you like. Thank you. It's Mandy from Mindset for Success.